Hey, what's up guys? RJ here, back with another video. Have you guys seen these little Toshiba Wi-Fi SD cards? Are you using them in your 3D printer? These little cards are a lifesaver. So if you're not using them, stay tuned. We're gonna go over a somewhat detailed look on how to use them, get them set up, and for you Windows folk, how to create a map network drive. Okay, so let's get to it. Welcome back. I use these cards in both of my printers, a FlashForge Creator Pro and a handicapped screwed up Fabricator Mini. A story for another time. A note on using it with the Mini. Uh, first, you'll need to install the 12864 um, LCD smart controller that has the SD card on it. You're also going to need to modify the uh, Merlin firmware uh, so that it keeps the um, wireless radio on uh, in the SD card. Thankfully, uh, Mr. RC Cam over at the rccam.com forums has already puzzled out all of the firmware changes needed. Uh, I'll leave a link in the description to the form post. I'll also leave a link for the entire modified version of the software, which will include the um, LCD, SD software, and the modifications to keep these Toshibas. Uh, uh, powered on. With these cards I don't have to swap the SD card from my computer to my printers which is a lifesaver for us you know more lazier peeps. They also save a ton of wear and tear on your printers SD socket. All this savings for $31.99 on Amazon. For us Windows folks we can also map the card as a drive. So that way we can slice directly to the card from, uh, the only program I've tested it with is Simplify 3D uh, wirelessly. So we can slice directly to the printer, which for us non-attached USB folk is pretty great. Now, unfortunately, it's not all peaches and cream. These things can be a real pain in the butt to get set up and working correctly. I have a brand new one right here, and I'm gonna show you how to easily get these things working, not only as a simple Wi-Fi via a browser data link, but also how to create that mapped network drive in Windows. So let's do it. So if you haven't already, um, you're going to need to download and install the Toshiba Flash Air tool. Um, once you've done that, go ahead and insert the uh, SD card in your computer. And then you, we want to navigate to the SD card. So you can select Windows key E on the keyboard to open up uh, this PC or my computer and you want the SD underscore WLAN folder and we're interested in this config file right here so go ahead and open it now this is what it looks like the config file before the uh, Toshiba flash air tool has touched it this is what it looks like after it's uh, initialized it and with the um, the added um, settings <clears throat> excuse me uh, quite a few of these you need to add manually uh, one of which is the upload equals one has to be in there the second is the web dav equals two must be in there and because you want to map the SD card it needs to 
have a static IP address so you need to add this IP information here as well so um, what we'll do here is I'm going to change the SSID here and I'll explain why you need to do that we'll leave everything else as is so and I'll leave a copy of uh, these files in the description of the video so once you've done that to the well you haven't done anything yet but because um, this is the original the current config and then this is mine so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna copy I select everything up to the CID entry do not copy the CID entry move that over and then again select everything up to the CID entry paste it do the same on the top half of the file select everything down to the version do not select the version uh, entry copy that and then do the same as on the other for pasting it you do not want to change the version or the CID uh, on the on the original um, config file if you do you're gonna wind up having to reinitialize the um, SD card so once you've done that you've got your IP set you've got your your name set and that name will be used to uh, call up in the web browser to navigate to it it's the DNS name uh, you've, uh, you can add your uh, SSID here also once you've got that you want to hit save you can close out of everything so once you've got that you want to go ahead and uh, once you're at this point you're going to go to network settings and you're going to enter the password to um, your uh, your SSID so you need to change the all these asterisks to the actual password also select use this same network settings even after the card is formatted and then do the same down here with the password once you do that hit apply and then it'll it'll go ahead and reinitialize and just follow the instructions what we're going to want to do is we're going to navigate to the uh, uh, the car to make sure that we can reach it wirelessly and we know that we got a uh, file uh, folder I think it's file or files I can't remember I guess we're about to find out all right so files was incorrect so you can also let's see here, get it right it's files not file all right so we've we're at the uh, flash air car so we know we can navigate now wirelessly what we need to do is again Windows key E open up Explorer um, let's see um, oh yep under computer tab you'll see map network drive select the map network drive and we'll just select R. We're going to enter the IP address and the name, and there we go. We are now mapped to the Toshiba Wi Fi SD card, and we can we can create folders um, we can do that, all kinds of uh, neat stuff directly from Explorer 
in Windows. Congratulations, your Flash Air Wireless SD card is now mapped and working. So if you use Simplify 3D, once you navigate to the card for the first time and you write to it, it's going to remember the location for the future. Now with that, there are two minor issues I've discovered uh, with using it with Simplify 3D. The first, you're going to need to have the printer turned on before opening Simplify 3D. Um, Simplify 3D takes a little bit longer to open once it's tied to a map, uh, net, uh, map drive. It takes an incredible amount of time to open if that drive is not reachable. I've sent um, Simplify 3D an email about this behavior and requested that they shorten the timeout for unreached drives, but I never got a response back. The second, for printers using Sailfish, such as the FlashForge Creator Pro, um, Simplify 3D will also create a .g code file uh, on the SD card. It's not really a problem for me because the advantages far outweigh um, these few minor inconveniences. In conclusion, I find these cards incredibly useful, not only for my 3D printers, but also for my camera gear. Uh, I've been using this map drive feature uh, since January, and I have not had a single failed print due to this setup or any file corruption whatsoever. Small files, big files, huge files, not a single problem. So are you using them in your 3D printer or elsewhere? Let me know in the comments how they've helped you uh, or drove you mad trying to get them set up. Also, just a reminder, in June I, well actually we, as in another channel, will be announcing a big new series. If you're not already subscribed, get subscribed so you'll know in the future of these upcoming videos. You definitely don't want to miss my hacking shenanigans. I'm also going to try to release a new video every two weeks. That about wraps it up guys. I hope this video helped you. If not, hit that dislike button and leave a comment as to why you didn't like it. But if you did, slap a like onto it. Share it. Alright, until next time, see ya.